So today I wanted to share with you guys my new updated contouring routine. So I did one of these videos a while ago. I don't think I've updated it since then. And that was the two different ways that I found that I could contour my face and my cheekbones specifically. So today I'm going to go ahead and show you my revised version. And I use basically... Um, uh, like kind of cream or liquid product and then I use a powder product to just set everything in place and that has been the routine that I've been using for basically the last like three months like since the beginning of the year this has been what I found I like the results of the most it's not something that's super intensive it's not Kim Kardashian highlighting and contouring it's not like wearing two different foundation colors it's a lot simpler than that for me and it is something that i do on a daily basis whether or not you guys want to contour and highlight on a daily basis that's a different story but i thought that i'd go ahead and share with you guys what i do for contouring and highlighting so if you guys want to see how i do this then just stick around so I already have on all of my other face makeup just for the purpose of this video because I'm only showing you guys how to contour, but I did want to just give that disclaimer. I do have on a full face of makeup already. So to start contouring, I take a little brush like this. This is just a dome shader brush. This one specifically is the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. So this isn't meant for your face, but I use it that way. It is a dual fiber brush. And I take a cream bronzer. This is the Chanel Bronze Universal or Soleil, de, Soleil Tan de Chanel, which is a very expensive product, but there are tons of different products that you can use in substitute of this. There are um, concealer pencils at the drugstore. There are dupes of this product in specific. Tons of things, so this is just what I use. I swirl my brush in here and pick up just a little bit of product and this is the most important step I find because it really concentrates the product in one area. So then I find my cheekbones which is right here, you guys can see where it indents on my face. Um, you can also line it up from the top of your ear to the corner of your mouth or you can suck in and make a fish face. So those are all viable options and just so that you guys know I'm looking at the viewfinder to do this so bear with me. And then what I do is I actually draw a curved line going down like that and it's very intense as you guys can tell and then from there I draw it back in a straight line almost like a triangle. So that is where my contour is going to be um, the sharpest. And then I'm going to go ahead and do that on the other side and I try to do it as symmetrical as possible. Again I'm using the viewfinder so it may be a little different today but So that is basically the main part. And then I go on to contour the rest of my face, again using the same, just swirling the product in there. And then I contour just the sides of my lower nose because my bridge is thinner than the base of my nose. I contour just the sides of my chin just to make it a little sharper. I draw whatever extra product is right across my jawline. And then because I'm no longer wearing my bangs, I just like to contour the temples a little bit. So I draw two lines there. And that is it for the layout of it. Now I'm taking a clean uh, duo fiber tapered kabuki by Sigma. Um, I use a lot of duo fiber for cream products. I don't really know why, that's just what I prefer. And now this is a little bit dirty because um, I have used this obviously the other days I've contoured. I should have washed it before this video, but whoops. So there's no extra product on here. And then I'm just going to blend this out just very lightly. I just kind of, where I drew that triangle before, I just work within the triangle. I don't really uh, blend up or down, I just blend within. And this brush is really great because it just does kind of soften those lines. It doesn't um, add any extra product. It just really blends it in, which is a huge deal with contouring. Because I feel like if you don't blend, it just, it can look a little bit fake, obviously. Because this isn't what your face looks like without it. So then, again, I'm just blending out all the other things. Just retracing where that crease brush apply the product. So 
sometimes that is all that I do for contouring and sometimes I only do the, pro the powder products that I'll use later. But I do want to give that disclaimer that you can stop there and just use it as a soft contoured look. Now for the next part is highlighting. So I like to go in with cream products first and then powder products later. So I'm going to go in with my cream highlighting products. Normally I do use a highlighting concealer. I use the Maybelline Dream Lumi, but I happen to be out of that right now at home. So I'm going to use a different product today. Today I have the Benefit Watts Up. This is just what I pulled from my vanity today. It's a mini version, but I thought that it would do the job. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this and go on the top of my cheekbones and just draw a nice line like that. And then go on the other side and do the same thing. And then I'm also gonna take it just right there and right there. And then just a little bit on the end of my nose and on my cupid's bow. And a little bit on the center of my chin. So I really don't like to highlight too much. Um, some people highlight a lot more than I do. That's just all that I do. So now I'm just gonna blend that out with my finger. I find that doing this with your finger is a lot better because highlighters, especially cream highlighters, can dissipate really quickly. And then you kind of lose the effect of it and you just put an extra product on your face for nothing. And ideally, you want the highlighter in front and then the contoured shade in the back right on your temples, but I couldn't really see, so I think I did it right, though. Again, you can stop there, but I'm going to go in with my powder products now. So. For all my powder products recently, I've really been relying on the Guy Bourdain palette from NARS just because this is convenient for me and there are six shades in here, um, especially my contouring and highlighting shades. So if you guys don't have this palette because it was limited edition, just pick out whatever powder products suits your skin tone, what's in your budget, and that will be fine. The brush that I use to contour is the Real Techniques Contouring Brush. I have switched between contouring brushes a million times and I've gone back to this one specifically recently and what I like to do is just take a little bit of Laguna which is the shade in this palette and just tap it on my brush and then what I do is I concentrate this bronzer specifically right here right in the back of my um, the hollow of my cheek I don't bring it down I just concentrate it right there and I find that that gives me the most shadow on my face because I do have um, slight angles already. And then whatever is left, I just kind of dust down and I bring on my lower cheekbone and on my temple. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, concentrating it right in the back hollow of my cheekbone. And then running whatever is extra down here and there. And then I'm just going to run a tiny, tiny bit on the sides of my nose just to set that um, bronzer, the cream bronzer in place and then a little bit on the sides of my chin. Before I go in with my highlighter, I am going to take a blush. So I'm going to be using my favorite right now, which is this shade right here. It's this corally shade. And I just take a little bit and dust it right onto the apples and back. And then the final step that I do is I go in with the highlighting shade and I've used tons of highlighting powders. This is just what is most convenient for me right now on a duo fiber brush. Again, this one is from MAC. This is the 131 duo fiber. And I'm just going to take a little bit of this highlighter and dust it like that where I go up and down on the tops of my cheeks and on my right next to my brow bone. And I find that it's easiest to apply highlighter when you're smiling. So that is it. That is all that I do for contouring. Four products, five brushes. So simple. I mean, you can obviously do it with half of that because, uh, like I said, you can either do just the powder or just the cream. I just find that it wears a lot longer during the day if I do both and it looks a lot better to me. And that's also because I'm a student, so I'm working constantly throughout the day for like 10 to 15 hour days. 
I hope that you guys like this video. I hope that you found it helpful and that you like my contouring routine. Uh, I can definitely say that I feel like I have a lot more definition on my face and I feel like all of my features are better pronounced when I do this routine. I hope that you guys liked it and leave any video requests that you guys have down below. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.